Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so I just went and cleaned up my car. I was going to tell you guys about a couple of products that I used to clean it with. Uh, pits popped open a little bit so I can put the products back in there. So, um, so yeah, got a pretty good shine to it. Wheels look pretty good and clean. I didn't really scrub them. They weren't too bad. Um, but the wheel cleaner is one of the products I'm going to tell you guys about. So yeah, she's got a nice little shine to her. So... So the products I used, one is this McGuire's uh, Hybrid Ceramic Wax. I watched it on YouTube to uh, find out a little more about it. And... So yeah, <laughs> I had to sit down. It's hot out of here. I'm tired from cleaning this car up. So yeah, this product, as you see, Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Wax. Basically, what you do is you wash your car really good, and then you rinse it off. While it's wet, you spray a little bit of this on each panel after you spray each panel you wipe it off uh, go on to your next panel spray it wipe it off and then when you get the car done you um, spray all of that off you don't rewash the vehicles you just go through and spray off that product and then uh, as the vehicles wet you go through and spray it again with the Meguiar's hybrid ceramic wax and I'm not being paid to sponsor this because uh, I guess they only do that for subscribers that have a lot of subscribers so and I don't anyway so yeah I'm not sponsored I just like the product or I thought I'd give it a try and see if I liked it but so uh, the second time uh, you spray it on there again when the vehicle's wet. You spray each panel, wipe it off, and then you're uh, then you are done. That's all you do to it. Apparently, this is supposed to last three to six months, and um, and it is about to be fall here in Tennessee. So hopefully that will get me through the fall and winter before I have to do it again in spring but uh, yeah I like the product it left a good shine on it um, it I think basically what the product is supposed to do uh, is just bead water really well on the vehicle so it's not setting leaving water marks when dirt gets thrown up on it uh, on your car it helps the dirt slide off the vehicle without it just sticking to it and just makes it easier to clean when you do your regular cleanings to your vehicle but um so far i like it we'll see how it works once the vehicle's dirty and i clean it again see how well the dirt comes off i try not to let my vehicle get too dirty anyway uh so yeah the next product that i used is the Meguiar's uh, all wheel ultimate all wheel cleaner and um, you spray that on there before you wash your wheels and um, 
So you spray that on there before you wash your wheels. And um, what I like about that product is that it um, it foams up and changes to like a purpley color, letting you know that it's pulling all that dirt and grime off your wheels. Um, I tried Chemical Guys wheel cleaner, did not like it at all. One reason is that it didn't spray, it just streamed on there, so it just kind of ran everywhere. It didn't really foam, it just didn't seem like it did a good job at all. Um, this product seemed, um, this product, the Meguiar's Ultimate Wheel Cleaner, did really well. I liked the way that it um, uh, foamed up and changed colors, letting me know that it was working and pulling all the dirt and grime from the wheels. Um, you are supposed to spray it on there and let it set and then take your uh, scrub brush and scrub the wheels to help loosen more of the dirt and grime off of it. I didn't do it this time. Again, my wheels weren't that dirty. So I just sprayed it on there, let it set, and then rinse it off. Um, but yeah, they, they look clean. Again, with that Kimball Guys wheel product, it, I'm gonna set in the car because it's hot. It's in the car where it's gonna be cool. Explain this a little more. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, the chemical guys, um, I just didn't like that at all. Uh, you guys might have used it and liked it. I just didn't like the way it just, it just streamed instead of sprayed. Um, it didn't seem like it loosened up to any of the dirt. Even after I scrubbed the wheels, there was still dirt uh, and grime in the crevices of the wheels. The Meguiar's Ultimate Wheel Cleaner, um, like I said, I, it, I like the way it foamed up. When something foams to me, it's like when I wash my car myself. I like a product, a washing product that's going to lather up. To me, I just, to me, it makes me think that it's actually working so I like the foaming effect and then again with it it changes colors to let you know that it's pulling that dirt and grime off your wheels but um, but you are supposed to, to scrub the wheels also uh, once it sets on there for a few minutes and does its job um, but I didn't this time because again the, the wheels weren't that dirty uh, I did go to you can hand wash um, at home using these products I did go to a car wash and uh, used one of the um, not the automatic touchless car wash but one with that you can pull inside and you use the high pressure wash I wanted to use one of those uh, especially for this initial use of the product uh, I figured that high pressure wash would help loosen up the dirt and grime on the vehicle um, better than just using a regular water hose and and plus I just don't like washing a car myself anymore uh, I'm a fat old man and it's hot here and I'm just I just don't like it anymore so uh, so I went to the car wash and used it and again I wanted uh, more so for using the high pressure wash to, uh, to get the product off for that initial uh, rinse so far, I do like the product, uh, and but we'll see how it works um, when it comes to water beating. It did work really well as far as the water beating when I was rinsing um, the first initial rinse after putting the product on. Um, it did really uh, beat up really well. I liked, um, but again, the product is also supposed to help dirt from sticking to your car and it so it's easier for you to for that for you to wash the dirt off the vehicle when you do your uh cleanings so we'll see how that works um so yeah i suggest giving those two products a try again the mcguire's uh 
ceramic wax. It's a spray on wax and the Meguiar's Ultimate Wheel Cleaner. I really like both of those products. I bought a bunch of Chemical Guys products and so far I'm not impressed with those products. I bought the, the, the shampoo to wash the vehicle. It didn't lather up that much. It may have worked better if I was using a, a foam cannon, uh, but it doesn't say that that's the only way to use that product. It just says uh, cleaning shampoo. Uh, but it didn't lather. Again, I don't like it if it doesn't lather. I feel like it doesn't do its job. And then the wheel cleaner, I didn't like that either. Um, I also got the uh, the Chemical Guys window cleaner. I haven't used that product yet. Um, it's supposed to not streak. I, I typically use Windex, um, which does streak. Unless you just are using it over and over and over again to try to get the streaks out. But I can't stand when there's streaks. I almost would rather have a dirty window than a streaky window. So, um, I eventually give that window cleaner a try. I just, my windows haven't, this still is a, a new vehicle. I've had it about two months now and haven't cleaned the windows yet. But they haven't really gotten that dirty. They still look pretty clean. But, um... I will use that product here soon, if not on my vehicle, maybe my son's little Honda there. Um, I'm going to use the products, both of those Meguiar products, well not the wheel cleaner product on his vehicle, his wheels aren't dirty at all, um, but definitely the Meguiar's ceramic wax. Bought that little thing for him for his 15th birthday for him to learn to drive in. It's a 2009 Honda Fit. Uh, the person I bought it from did not take care of it. It was just a vehicle they just didn't drive anymore. So it had been setting and just looked terrible. I took it and had it detailed and the detail place did an amazing job on it. Uh, got the paint looking brand new again. Took out all the interior and cleaned it up really well because uh, there was just tons of pet hair inside the vehicle but uh, they did a great job but it does need this Meguiar's ceramic wax on it because it does not beat at all uh, when it's wet so um, I'm going to do that product on his and then also um, my husband's vehicle he has a pretty cool vehicle himself I don't know if you guys know what um, what it is. It's uh, it's a 2003 Chevy SSR. It's one of those um, convertible trucks. It's supposed to look like it's from the 50s. Um, they didn't make very many many of them. I think a little over 24,000 in the three years that they made the vehicle. Um, but he wanted uh, he had a Mercedes convertible and it was just too low to the ground it was just hard to get in and out of anymore but he loves having a convertible but he also loves uh buying stuff and shopping and so he wanted a truck so this has a little bit of everything it's easy to get in and out of it's a convertible and it's a truck and it's also pretty cool so uh we went uh, all the way to uh, north carolina to pick this particular one up because it had super low miles on it and um, yeah, so maybe I'll uh, make a quick little video of that sometimes, um, just in case you don't know what one of those look like and show it to you. But yeah, uh, again, this video was about the cleaning products, not me just rambling on about other stuff. Yeah, I suggest uh, giving those products a try. Give you another quick look at the products. So yeah, it's in a blue bottle, Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Wax, recommend that, and also the Meguiar's Ultimate Wheel, All Wheel Cleaner, both of those are good products, give those a try, a little walk around of the vehicle, so you can see it cleaned up, shining after the product I use on it. So yeah, give those a try. Let me know what you think. 
and let me know if you have products that you like using that you can suggest that maybe I can give a try. So till next time, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.